Yeah, we don't have any neurologist, unfortunately. This is not going to be a clean operation. Oh my god, he's so brutal! Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching the season finale of The Last of Us. Now, I was told in the last episode, the voice actor that plays Joel was in the episode. He played James, which was a pretty cool detail, honestly. I, I never would have caught that because I didn't play the video game, so I wouldn't recognize his voice. I'm sure I would recognize voice actors from Red Dead Redemption just because I like... I have their voices ingrained in my head. Like Arthur Morgan, I'm catching that. John Marston, I'm catching that. Dutch, I'm catching that. Bill, I'm catching that. You know, like those I would definitely catch if I just saw them in like a rant. I mean, I know what they look like too though, to be fair, but even if I didn't know what they looked like, like let's say they're just in a random movie and they look different from how I see them in my head because of the movie, I think I would still catch it because of their voice. And I was also told in this episode that the voice actor that plays Ellie is in this episode. So that's another pretty cool detail too. Now, I don't think that's a spoiler because I wouldn't have known regardless. So, so I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as early access to the next. Oh wait, there's no, nope. This is the, this is the last episode. Never mind. I'm just too used to saying that. All right. It's me. Oh, the water broke. Mm. Oh, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. Grab the knife. Stab him. Oh. crying you fucking tell him ellie tell him ellie ellie quiets okay is this ellie as a baby this is ellie's mom right here okay so i think that was ellie as a baby her mom got cut though then so rp her mom okay and i think ellie's mom is the voice actor who plays ellie in the game i'm gonna guess that's her so is that marlene add up it's not your fault. We were delayed getting out of the zone. She needs to be fed, and I, I didn't want to nurse her. I cut it before I was bit. Before. Okay, you definitely didn't. Find someone to bring her up and make sure. But obviously, she doesn't want to say that. Her name is Ellie. I can't. Mm. How long have we known each other? Our whole lives. So you pick her up right now. And then you kill me. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I mean, ob obviously Marlene takes her, but shit. I can't kill you. <laughs> no, please. Please! No. That's so tough because it's like Marlene's known her her entire life, you know? Like, I'm assuming they're like best friends. Whatever, that'd be so hard to kill your best friend, even though like, you know they're gonna turn. It's like, I don't know what. Oh, she's gonna do it. Cover her ears. She's doing it fast. Flaw. <laughs> she did that so quick. I'd rather have her kill me quick like that, too. Cause like, dude, you know, shitty. Okay, dying either way is gonna be really shitty. Like you rather, Marlene just shoots you super duper quickly before you kind of even like realize it. So you don't have time to like panic and realize like, oh shit, I'm about to get shot. You know, it's just, it's just over. Versus like going through the pain of turning and then yeah, just being uh, infected that. I think it'd be easier to kill someone if they're a clicker, you know, like your friend turned clicker, then it'd be easier to kill them, but. You don't even, you don't want them to turn into it because I'm sure it's extremely painful. Wait, so is Ellie's immunity to the fungus developed in her birth like that? Like her mom got bit and then she cut the umbilical cord, or was it just already genetically in her, and her mom didn't have it? What dude? What if her mom did have the immunity too, and Marlene killed her mom? Because I mean they don't know. Like if she was immune, they'd have no idea. So if you want to beat me at something, it would be this. Oh, he's trying to be like a dad. Oh, trying to connect with her, bond with her. Cause yeah, like I said in the end of the last episode, she's his daughter now. At least his daughter now. Like, they have that connection now. He had a guitar in that RV. It's all smashed up, but got me thinking. Maybe I should find one. In fact, I was thinking maybe I could teach you. Mm. I bet you'd be great at it. 
You want to learn how to play guitar, Ellie? Hmm? Oh yeah, that'd be great. Okay, that's kind of weird now. Like the enthusiasm is completely flipped. Joel's the enthusiastic one now. And Ellie's the one that's kind of like down in the dumps. Like it seems like Joel's excited again, you know? He feels a lot more closer to Ellie now so he can embrace her as if she was his daughter. But maybe she doesn't feel the same way back to him as like she doesn't feel like his daughter. If I get you up there, you can drop that ladder down. and we go through that way. Do you hear what I... Yeah. Boost. Got. You don't need a drawer. You can just jump and grab the top. What are you... Bro, <laughs> it's like a two... <gasps> Ellie! <laughs> Damn it, Ellie! You gotta see this! Ellie! Come on! Oh shit, it's a giraffe. Oh, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Joel, are you gonna f fucking. Oh, he's setting the gun down. Okay, good. <laughs> Imagine he just shot and killed it. What are you doing? I mean, dude, right. I hope this giraffe doesn't die. <laughs> it's gonna be so sad if it does. Imagine just a bunch of. Infected, just fucking swarm it, and then oh my god, that'd be so sad. Dude, I think it was so cool to see a giraffe in person. I'd never have, <laughs> especially in then like interacting with one like this. Oh my god. Oh oh wow, there's a lot. Damn, there's a good amount of giraffes here. Look, I don't know exactly where this hospital is. Yeah, we'll find it. Maybe there's nothing bad out there, but so far there's always been something bad out there. We're still here, though. I'm only saying there's a risk. We don't have to do this. Just, I want you to know that. What do you mean? What else are we supposed to do? Nothing. We just go back to Tommy's. We forget about the whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Yeah. Everything I've done, it can't be for nothing. At this point, we gotta keep going. I know you want to protect me. You have. And when we're done, we'll go wherever you want. Tommy's, Sheep Ranch. I'll follow you anywhere you go. But there's no halfway with this. We finish what we started. Hell yeah. They had me in one just like this. With Sarah? Oh, no, she was gone already. Second day. Well, I gotta hand it to the army people. They were way mm -hmm. better at stitching you up than I was. It was me. I was the guy who shot and missed. Sarah died, and I couldn't see the point anymore. And I wasn't scared either. I was ready. I couldn't have been more ready. Went to pull the trigger. I, I flinched. Still don't know why. Still got a lot, of, a lot of life left in you. Anyway, the reason I'm telling you all this I is... I know why you're telling me all this. So time heals all wounds, I guess. It wasn't time that did it. It was her. Oh. <laughs> Because of her, he let his guard down, you know? I'm glad that that didn't work out. Yeah, she probably doesn't know how to like receive that information. Like they're both, they're both like pretty emotionally guarded people, so. We should probably get going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard for them to express and receive emotions like that. Do you know what I'm in the mood for? Shitty puns. Oh, oh, people are making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. Too soon? <laughs> Breathe, you idiot. There's a three oh, out of ten. Seven minutes. I'll give it a uh -uh. five. Five out of five. ten. This flashbang. Oh, oh. Ellie. Ellie! I know they split up. Oh, whoa. Cut to the screen right here. Damn. Good way to represent a flashbang, yeah. Up into the fireflies. Oh, it's Marlene. We got hit pretty hard. Yeah, what the fuck was that about? Patrol didn't know who you were. Oh, okay, okay. Where's Zoe? Not even a scratch. It was all her. She felt like hell to get here. She would have been dead on day one. Oh, she, she grew up a lot. You were the one person I never wanted to be in debt to. Oh, oh yeah. Just take me to her. I can't. No. She's being prepped for surgery. Oh, shit. What, what surgery are they gonna do? Our doctor. They gotta kill her and take her? The cordyceps in Ellie has grown with her since birth. Why is she in surgery? It produces a kind of chemical messenger. 
It makes normal cordyceps think that she's cordyceps. It's why she's immune. He's gonna remove it from her, multiply the cells in a lab, produce those chemical messengers, and then we can give it to everyone. It, but is this gonna kill her? He thinks it could be a cure, Joel. A cure. It's probably gonna kill her, though. Cordyceps grows inside the brain. Ooh. It does. Yeah. Find someone else. There is no one else. <sighs> Joel's not, Joel, no way Joel lets this happen. There no. won't be any pain. No, you take me to her. You take me to her right now! Oh! Please. You don't understand. I do. Mm-hmm. I promised her mother that I would save her child. I promised. So I do understand. I'm the only one who understands. No, I feel like... No. What, dude, there's, that's a quote from another movie. <laughs> like, I've definitely heard another actor... I've definitely heard that quote in a very dramatic fashion like that in another movie. I'm the only one who understands. I feel like that was like a Joker line or something. It was definitely said by like a villain. Walking out to the highway, leave him there with his pack. Give him this. Uh, no, it's not enough. If he tries anything, shoot him. Fuck. Dude, okay, this is like such a gray area because because this isn't like black and white, good versus evil. Yeah, this pains Marlene so much to do, but she knows she has to do it for the greater good of everyone else. And it's like, fuck, dude, do you sacrifice one life to save millions? Like, that sounds like an obvious yes. But when you're this far, when you're this much attached to somebody. Oh, it was fucking Thanos who said it when he was like, yeah, okay, that's what it was. That's who it was. Okay. Well, when you know the person like this and you have this much of an attachment to them, it's so hard to make that decision. They never said if this was like a guarantee thing to work either. They... The fuck are you doing? Keep walking. Dude, Joel can't. He can't. Walk. Yeah, yep. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck you. Mm. No more time for this. Oh. <laughs> Dude, Joel's, Joel's gonna do whatever he has to do to get her back. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, that's the, this is what Marlene meant by you're the one person who I don't want to be in debt to like this. Because... Oh my god, because he's probably one of the only people capable of doing something like this. Hmm. Bro, you sure he wasn't like a fucking marine? Or <laughs> like... What? Oh my god, you sure he wasn't on SEAL Team 6? Did they like forget to mention that to us? God damn. He's gonna get stopped before he gets to her. Like he's gonna get shot or something before... Brutal, no mercy. Fuck out of my way. Oh, he's about to just. Oh my god. Dude, he's a man on a mission with nothing to lose, but everything to gain. He's unstoppable right now. Fuck, but does he... if Marlene gets in his way, think he kills her or Marlene kills him? Or maybe Marlene lied. I don't know, or something in Ellie's. Or Ellie's already dead. It's already happened by the time he gets to her or something. Fuck, they're already doing it. It's, it's too late. Do we have enough power? She's oh, she's... Oh, it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. Unhook her. How did you get in here? I said unhook her. I won't let you take her. Please, unhook her. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Move! Oh Watch this be like a hole in her. <laughs> okay, no, they haven't done it. Mm -hmm. But Joel, now you gotta get out of here though with her. They won't shoot at you because they don't want to shoot her by accident. Oh, well, she's gonna die. She's gonna die anyway. You don't want to blow her brains out though if you accidentally shoot her and ruin everything. If you're one of the fireflies. This is a trap. That's a trap. Yep. Can't keep her safe forever. No matter how hard you try, no matter how many people you kill, she's gonna. How long till she's torn apart by infected or murdered by raiders? Bro, that logic applies to anyone. Because I think she'd want to do what's right. And you know it. It's not too late. Even now, even after what you've done, no, you can I... still find a way. No, you're killing me as soon as I put her down. <laughs> like, as soon as I hand her back, you're killing me. Yeah, I mean, it was an extremely selfish thing by Joel to do. 
Oh, uh, did he, he laugh? He probably gave her back and took the truck. Yeah, he, he, he gave Oh, she's here. <laughs> Wait, so what did he do with Marlene? What? It's all right. You're with me. What? He like, he like put her down and then just shoot Marlene or something? Like... You were running some tests on you and some others. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. People that are immune. Dozens of them. The doctors, they couldn't make any of it work. Mm. They've actually stopped. Ooh, fuck. <laughs> Why did that scare me? They've stopped looking for a cure. Mm-hmm. Lie to her. Tell her something different rather than actually tell her what happened. She doesn't want to feel responsible for Joel killing, like, what, tw 20 people? Are people hurt? Yeah, she knows he's lying. Yes. Mm. Oh, my God. Yeah, he was hiding the gun under the gown. And then just... Watch him just shoot her a little quick like Marlene did the Ellie's mom. Just come after her. Oh my god, he's so brutal. I wouldn't say it was her favorite thing. She wasn't a fan of the mosquitoes and such. But she was a big climber. Or scampering. Yeah, opening up about Sarah to her more. That girl. Valley, she feels guilty. She knows Joe killed, she probably killed everyone in there. They get her out. Like Ellie already knows. And she probably feels really guilty about it. Do you know why I think she'd like you? Why? Because you're funny. And you're real as fuck. <laughs> you're honest. <laughs> anyway, I bet you would have liked her back. Yeah. Probably. Damn, this town, the town's actually fucking huge. Oh my god. Damn, we're 40 minutes into this? That flew by. Not much further now. Hey, wait. Back in Kansas City, you asked me about the first time I killed someone. When I got bit in the mall, I, I wasn't on my own. Mm -hmm. My best friend was there. Yeah. And she got bit too. Riley. Be all poetic and just lose our minds together. And then she did. And I had to. Her name was Riley. And she was the first to die. And then it was Tess and then Sam. That's not on you. I know. It... Look, sometimes things don't work out the way we hope. And you don't know what to do next. But if you just keep going, you find something new to fight for. Yep. Yeah. Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. Uh, I swear. Well, I mean, to be fair, how's she ever gonna find out he's lying? Unless she goes back there on her own somehow, finds all the dead bodies okay. and stuff. But like, there's really no way she'll ever find out. Too. Oh, okay, that's it. Damn. Yeah, there's really no way she'll ever know he was lying right there. But he doesn't want her to have a guilty conscience because of it, because she she feels bad about Riley. She feels bad about Tess. And Joel stopped her, and he's like, "No, that's not that's not on you. That's not on you. You know." So he's not gonna put this on her and be like, "Yeah, I killed everyone there to get you out." Like that would no, that's gonna destroy her. He says that. So, all right. Well, that was the season finale to The Last of Us. So I guess the thing that could divide the fans was. Joel going in and just going on a mass murder spree to save Ellie. Okay, that was brutal, not gonna lie. It was shot very well. Too. The filmmaking in that scene was done very well. Personally, if that if that is what it was, that didn't really bother me, to be honest. Because it's like the Fireflies, what they're trying to do with Ellie, they're sacrificing one person to save millions of people or however many people are still left alive on earth i don't know a billion people could still be alive i don't know anyway it's like it's for a good cause but it's so personal to joe joel i mean it's so personal to joel he's not gonna let it happen he can't he already lost sarah he's not losing ellie he'll do whatever he has to do to get her back so like, i get it i get both sides to it and i mean at the end of the day it's, it's fiction so it's like okay you know it was really painful for marlene too like it fucking, you could tell it really crushed her on the inside to make that decision to do that to Ellie, to do the surgery on Ellie. But I think the difference was Marlene's been working on this goal for so long now. She, she's just as dedicated to um, achieving this goal as Joel is to saving Ellie, if that makes sense. I mean, shit, you could argue Mar it took more emotional strength from Marlene to make that decision than it did for Joel to go and kill everyone. Because the, like Joel couldn't, Joel couldn't sit back and let it happen. Joel couldn't stand back and just do nothing about it. He couldn't. Yeah, arguably it takes more emotional strength to let that happen than to do something about it. This has been a fantastic series altogether. This has been a great series. This is one of the best shows I've seen in a while. Like, I mean, we just got done with Game of Thrones on the channel. I would say Game of Thrones is, was better, but no, this is a damn second. Okay, for the channel, 
I would say Game of Thrones is number one. Last of Us is a strong two though. Strong two. Best two shows I've seen for the channel so far. Even though it's only been season one of The Last of Us and we finished the full series of Game of Thrones. I don't know. The, um, the next season of Last of Us could be pretty bad. I doubt it's going to be, but it could be. So, I mean, after next season, we'll come back to these rankings after next season and reassess. Maybe we watch another show in between season one and two of The Last of Us and like Peaky Blinders. I could see Peaky Blinders making top three on the that list easily. Like I'm only on the second episode of Peaky Blinders in season one, but Peaky Blinders has been pretty nice so far and I can only see it getting better. So I don't know, that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be a tough ranking, not gonna lie. That's gonna be very tough. Honestly, I should do like a tier ranking for everything we've watched and then like really think about it. Cause like since we're so new to Peaky Blinders, I would say WandaVision's three right now. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna think about it right now. But but yeah, so are we done with the game? Well season what's season two gonna be about? Because I'm pretty sure this is the end of the game now. I know there's two parts to the game, I think. So next season is just the second game. And then is that it? There's no third season. I don't know. The only thing I can kind of like reference it to is like if they made a Red Dead Redemption TV show, if they put the entire game into one season like the entire first game or the entire second game in the one season, I feel like that's way too short. Too much happens in that game for it to be condensed down like this. I would want the full game to be spread over like two seasons at least. But yeah, that was The Last of Us season finale. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.